Hey, Bruce here with the 5-Minute Handyman. I'm ready, ready to do some tiling in the bathroom that I've been working on. And I've got my thin set mixed up. Let me show you the rest of the hardware that we're going to be using. What I'm going to do is I am going to use these lash clips. And the way that these clips work is that they go underneath the tile. And then the wedge goes through, just like in this photo. And it holds the top of the tiles flat and even and um, does a great job especially since I'm going to be using uh, 36 inch long tiles um, so uh, let's get right to it all right so my thin set uh, is is right here uh, I'm going to use a half inch trowel so that I can uh, have enough mortar underneath so that when I use those clips it's going to be able to self level itself out. I use a margin trowel in order to uh, scoop out my thin set and uh, to help spread things out on the, on the floor. So let me show you how we're doing this. And I've got tiles that are going to be going uh, here well, all the way from here up to the tub and so what I'll do is I'm just going to get a bunch of thin set and you can see the consistency this is nice and thick but it plops off of the, the trowel and so what I'll do is I'll put quite a bit down here and uh, the first thing I want to do once I get this on the floor is to spread it out to cover the full area of the floor and so I'll use the smooth edge of my trowel and I want to go over each of these screw heads and that helps with uh, the waterproofing quality for underneath the tile. So I'm going to go just up to this one line right now and then uh, this part of the field is going to have full 36 inch tiles. Uh, the door is behind me, the toilet's over on this side. And so what I'm going to do is just get this spread out a little bit. And we'll go back and create our grooves for the tiles to sit in. Okay, so now I've got now I've got good wetting to the base. And so what I'll do is add a little bit more thin set here. Because I want to make sure that I have nice full ridges for the tiles to sit in. So we'll go back and forth. Just get things evened out. Okay, so you see over here in this area. You see how some of the thin set is like broken, the ridge is broken? That means that there's not enough there and I need to get it all to look like this. Okay, so I'm gonna just keep working it and spreading it to make sure that um, we're gonna get an even bond on the bottom of my tiles. So the other thing to keep in mind is as I'm spreading out my thin set, uh, my tile direction, the long direction of the tiles is this way. So I'm going to want to have my thin set going perpendicular to those tiles. So just a matter of through and making sure that we have a nice even coating. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a nice set of layers. And so I've got nice consistency here, which is exactly what I want. Uh, my first tile is going to go over here. I'm going to match up this edge to the line, the horizontal line. But because these are such long skinny tiles, what I need to do is put some mortar on the back of the tile. And so 
all I'm going to do is just get it spread out. And what this does is it, um, this stuff is very sticky. And so uh, those ridges will stick immediately to the bottom of this tile and give me good integrity. If I don't, if I don't do this, there's a good chance that the tile will not bond all the way across the whole length. And so I'll put this down, work it in. Um, I've got my corner that's lined up here. And I'm going to take my clips and we'll put a clip up near the top. Put a clip here, then a clip down toward the bottom. I'm also going to want to put one on the end so that the next tile is going to be able to match up with that. So that's the first one. My next tile is a shorter tile. So I'm going to take it. I've already cut all of these and gotten them in order so that I'm going to pick the right sizes up. Um, make sure that my cut edge is up against the, the top. And so I'm going to put this tile down here, like this, take a spacer, put a spacer here, and one here, push this down, take my wedge, and push it tight, and that's going to bring the top of the tiles flat and level. And so then I just continue on working my, my way across. As long as I'm using these spacers in between, I can ensure that my lines are going to look straight and uniform. 